Welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today is Friday, November the 25th. It's the day after Thanksgiving. It's officially Black Friday. I know I've been hearing the term Black Friday used for like months now, but it's actually Black Friday today. Um, and I'm here with a day in the life vlog, just following me along. Um, we're starting the day at the Kroger. So not a whole lot of Black Friday excitement with that, but um, I am here to film my couponing deals video. Um, so I gotta take care of that. I am gonna do a little bit of Black Friday shopping. There is like one thing that I know that I want. Um, it's a sweatshirt from Denim Sports that's on sale. Other than that, I really don't know. So it'd kind of just be like a look around and see if there's anything cool that catches my eye that's on sale. I do have a little bit of an allowance that I've given myself to use today. So we are gonna see, and I just figured, hey, I'll just take you guys along for the ride. So let's get started. I'm gonna film my Kroger video and I'll catch you guys in there. Guys, I am sad that Thanksgiving's over, but I'm actually a little bit happy today because look at that. No one. This is the least busy Kroger's been in probably two weeks. Like literally every time I've had to come, the parking is horrible. It's like wall to wall people in here. And today it's just like, whatever. It's just nice and chill and, and really awesome. So Kroger, you're making me happy today. This has been a much more exciting experience. Now I know that's not gonna last long. When Christmas gets closer, it'll be crazy again. But today we're just taking it a day at a time. It's really nice and it's been easy to film. Look at this. Now, I'm not gonna get it cause that's pretty pricey, but a frozen peppermint hot chocolate ice cream. Oh. And then M&M's Caramel Fudge. My gosh, those sound delicious. I haven't seen these before at Kroger, so I thought I would share. And they're on a little sale. It's these, like, snuggy stuffed animal things. Um, you microwave them, and they're fragrance with lavender. Um, so that's kind of cool. I saw something like that at Staples, but they were way more expensive than Kroger. So go figure. So check Kroger if you're interested in that. Okay guys, Kroger Black Friday is actually no joke. I wasn't even thinking they were gonna do anything because they didn't really have anything advertised unless you're a marketplace store, which ours is not. But I found some really good stuff. So um, all the gift sets are an additional 25% off. So I know I said in the vlog the other day that all I'm doing Christmas shopping, blah, blah, blah. But I did tell myself, okay, I do have a little bit of money left in my Christmas fund. And if I find some good gifts, um, like another gift or two for my immediately family, my immediately, no, my immediate family, um, it would be not a bad idea to pick it up. So I did find this for my grandpa. Um, it's a Barbasol all-in-one body grooming kit. I thought he'd really like this. It's like $15. Um, he, he needs an upgrade on his, so I thought I'd get him that. And then also got in some socks because all Hanes are 50% off. Everything Hanes in Kroger is 50% off, literally. So these are $4.99. And then for my grandma, I picked her up these crew socks because she loves crew socks, half off at $4.99 as well. Great. And then I also got this Airwick warmer. This is on clearance for $3.14. I have a dollar off digital coupon and I have a dollar fifty on Ibotta, so like 70 cents or something. So yeah, Kroger's really, really impressed me. I wasn't expecting that, but good deals there. Okay, so my Kroger video is up now, and now I'm at the mall. Hopefully I can find this hoodie that I wanted. It is so busy. I've never seen the mall like this busy in years and years and years, so crazy. Apparently they opened at 4 a.m. There is not a chance that I would have been here at 4 a.m. I found the hoodie I want. This is the Adidas. It's a red and gray hoodie, Adidas. Um, it is $39.99 on sale. It's kind of expensive still, it's regularly $60, but I saw this when we were shopping in St. Clairsville a few months ago and I loved it. Um, so I really, really love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and splurge and treat myself to it. The lines are so long. Okay, so done at Dunham's, got my hoodie that I was wanting. Um, I probably waited about 15, 20 minutes. Not too bad, the line's even worse now, I think. I have never in my life seen the mall as busy as it is right now. Let me show you. Literally, it is packed. Like, usually you can hear a pin drop in this place, and now, like, everybody's here. Um, they're also having one of those, like, craft show things. So that's pretty cool. But uh, I think we're going to JCPenney next. I think it's safe to say I won't be going in this place. This is ridiculous. All these people in here. In the store is, like, buy three, get three free or something. I did now. As a couponer, this is kind of 
deplorable, but my grandma used to order Avon all the time, um, like deodorants and things. Actually, also my other grandma who sold Avon for years, um, but since couponing and everything, my grandma quit selling Avon, and now my other grandma hasn't been able to get it, and she loves the roll-on deodorants, so they're on sale four for ten. I think for Christmas, it's worth splurging and getting her the deodorant, so gonna do it. This Avon booth is gonna get me, but they have the Wild Country aftershave, and my grandpa loves aftershave. And this will go with the um, Barbasol set that I got him, um, $11. So I think I'm gonna get this for him for Christmas. And for my dad, I'm gonna get him this Black Suede Clone for $15. Okay, so the lady at Avon gave me a bigger bag because I like got more stuff. But I was like back again, um, but it worked out good because like I said, I know my family will really like that because my grandma used to sell it for years. Um, and so they know a lot of those brands and it'll make them happy to see them because we've not really gotten them since I started couponing. Um, so I'm excited to give them those. But um, the prices have sure skyrocketed. Like I remember the deodorants used to be a dollar. That was the price. And now they're like 250 with the sale they were doing today. Um, so man, prices just have gone up, but it's life. It's, it's, it's life now. So what are you going to do? Okay, send JCPenney, and I'm gonna get one of these Mutual Weave shirts. These are really, really nice, actually, and they're $11.99 on sale, so pretty good. I'm gonna pick up one of these. And then I know on one of the vlogs the other day, I um, got bed pants at Walmart, but I am gonna go ahead and get these at JCPenney for $11.99 because the ones I got at Walmart are lighter weight, and when it's really, really cold, these might be better. Um, and I love the JCPenney um, pants. They're really nice. My grandma got me a pair last Christmas, I think, or or maybe it was after Christmas, but I love them. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up. All right, I'm gonna get my grandma one more gift. She'd mentioned wanting a robe. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pick her up one of these Liz Claiborne ones. They're $29.99. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this for her. Okay, so I'm a shopping fool today. I just went to American Eagle and everything's 30% off. Um, I got some joggers because their joggers are the nicest and softest and most comfortable ever. These are still pricey, but it was worth it. So I got them and then they're giving out a free reusable bag today, which is really nice. This is a very nice and sturdy, big, very big bag. So this will come in handy for sure. All right, we're taking a lunch break here. We picked up Subway. I love me some Subway. Um, so got that. I'm just gonna have some chips and another one of my Sprite. Let me get it, the Sprite. Um, this is the last one, sadly, it's the Sprite cranberry winter spiced cranberry it is so good so 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 good all right guys lunch is done and i'm heading out for a round two of black friday shopping yes there are still some really good deals to be had and i still have a little bit of money left in my budget so we are going to go out there we are going to do it it's going to be awesome um so i am currently heading back to rite aid um, because I wasn't originally planning on going to ride it again. I thought I did everything yesterday. Um, however, I actually have $23 in bonus cash. I had $17 when I left yesterday and I wasn't planning on going just for that really. Um, but I checked on my ride aid, like I was looking through my loaded card coupons and stuff because I had seen some other people's videos of their ride aid hauls and I saw a couple of deals I didn't do. Um, so that was kind of making me think about going back. But then I saw on my ride aid account, I had these like rewards points. They must've just started that this year or whatever. Um, I had like so many rewards points and you can convert those points into bonus cash. So I actually had enough points to get an extra six dollars in bonus cash so i have 23 bucks at rite aid so yeah i think it's safe to say i'm heading back to rite aid again um, to do some more stuff um i saw jody dunn's video she had a six dollar off a two duracell coupon and yesterday i only saw the three dollar one but lo and behold i also had this six dollar one that jody had so that's a really great deal they are um 9.99 each buy two get ten dollar bonus cash and then the six off two coupon is going to make them like two dollars a pack a dollar 99 a pack so that's great but of course i'm just going to roll bonus cash from yesterday i saw a nivea shaving cream deal popped up um, there's a load to car coupon and i bought a rebate and stuff there's some cereal deals um i was hoping they got the little palm olives back in because the app did show it as being in stock uh so maybe maybe um, and I don't know, just whatever we get into in here, I thought it was just worth coming down and doing some more stuff. I mean, $23 is great. Right, Aid, stop playing games with my emotions. <laughs> it said they had the palm olive in stock and they don't, so that deal's not happening either. I am totally doing a round two on the Duracell batteries. Um, they're a great deal. They are $9.99, have a $6 off a two load to card coupon, and I have, you get back $10 for buying two in bonus cash, so that makes these a really, really great deal. 
I just love looking at the aisles at these drugstores because they have cool stuff. They have a retro desk caddy that looks like a cassette tape. How cool is that? I love that. That is so neat. I really, really like that. Um, they also have like a amp microphone. Um, they have a chicken toss game, a pet treat launcher, a money shooter, an auto cup holder organizer. Rite Aid's got it going, guys. They got some cool stuff. In fact, I'm splurging and I'm getting the retro desk caddy. That thing is just too cool to, to not get, like, right? It's so cool. Also, my dad requested some ornament hooks for his tree at work, so I'm just gonna get these at Rite Aid for $1.49. I'll just use bonus cash to pay. Okay, so I'm also gonna do the Nivea deal. The little Nivea shaving creams are on Black Friday for $3.99, and if you buy two, you get $2 bonus cash. I have $3 off of two load to card coupon I'm gonna use, and then I also have a 75 cent, I bought a rebate. For each of these so it breaks it down to be a decent deal i don't remember exactly what it comes out to i think like a dollar 48 for two of them so pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and get these sad right aid they're all out of the frosted flakes that are on sale boo i think i am gonna get two boxes of fruity pebbles these are two for five um and you get back to our bonus cash so it makes it two for three um my great uncle likes fruity pebbles it's one of his like favorite cereals um and i actually really like it too so why not go ahead and get it Okay, so if your Rite Aid has this in stock, the Freeman's mask, it's actually free. They're a dollar each, and you get back five dollars if you buy five in bonus cash. So it would make that free if your store has it. Mine doesn't, which I really don't care. It's okay, but be aware. Okay, so I actually found one of those Freeman's mask things, but you gotta have five to do the deal, so you're out of luck. But I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. Rite Aid is vitamin C. Um, that's two forty nine on clearance, so that's actually gonna round out. This transaction is gonna come to like twenty three ninety four plus tax. Um, and so I'll use my bonus cash at me like 94 cents plus tax and I'm going to get back three and 10. So 13, I'm going to roll the $13 onto these things. And I think that'll be a end for Rite Aid. So yeah, I'll be down to $2 bonus cash, which is kind of sad, but that's how I do it at Rite Aid. That's what I always do is I spend it out on things we need. So I'm happy. I'm going to take that back. I still have like 51 cents bonus cash. So I got to find something else to throw in. Just gonna buy a thing of string cheese for 89 cents because that sounds kind of good. So I'm gonna pick this up. Had to swap the batteries out because it has to be on the optimum six count or copper top. And I didn't have copper top. I had a different one. So gonna get these. All right, so all done at Rite Aid. And I spent exactly $4 for everything, which was really great with tax. I don't know why, but all my receipts round up for kids since. It must have automatically started doing that on my account. I'm okay with that. I always typically will donate to those things anyway. Um, but I paid $4 for my first transaction. And then I don't know how, but this last transaction with the cereal and my cheese stick, which I'm going to eat right now, and the, um, the cassette holder thing, it, it came out to totally free. Like, literally, the subtotal came out to $14 with tax, and then it took off $14 in rewards. So I paid zilch, not a thing. And my cashier was so excited. She was like, look at you. You got to have that planned out. I was like, actually, I did not. I had no idea it was going to work out that great. That was awesome. Really stoked. Rite Aid was great this year. And she was like, she's so nice. I think she's the manager. But she's been literally, I think she's worked here since I started couponing at Rite Aid. And so she was like, oh, have you been out, you know, shopping today? And I said, yeah, I went to the mall. It was pretty busy. Um, she was like, do they have good deals? And I was like, yeah. I said, my favorite place that I've been here <laughs> my favorite place has been Rite Aid because it's just been it's been so good like so good I literally haven't even spent $15 on everything I've got at Rite Aid these last couple of days after the rebates and everything like no seven something yesterday it, it, I don't even know if I spent $10 on everything I've done at Rite Aid this week it's been amazing it was such a great week I wish Rite Aid was as good every week that's one of the reasons I spent out my bonus cash is because it's really not this good every week like most weeks it's actually pretty slow anymore um there still are deals to be had but nothing quite like this week has been so I'm so thankful Rite Aid did their normal Black Friday it's been great it's been really really great so Glad I came down here one more time for Black Friday week and got all that stuff for like four bucks. And then I got rebates. I got rebates back. I forgot. A dollar fifty I bought a for the Nivea, so we're down to two fifty. And then I think I should get back an extra dollar bonus for the Nivea because I did another rebate some other time. So I'm thinking I'm getting an extra dollar. So I mean, if that goes through, it'll all be a dollar fifty. I didn't even say that. I didn't even say that. I was just so excited about the four dollars. No, it should be like a dollar fifty in the end. So right aid. I love you. You guys are awesome. So I, I should try to coupon here more. I'll keep more close attention to the deals, but 
Anyways, let's go brave Walmart. I'm a little nervous. But let's go brave Walmart now and see what we can get into there. Okay, so I actually, before Walmart, since the post office is right by Rite Aid, I ran to the post office to check my box and I did get a card from Tanya and some coupons. So thank you so much, Tanya, for those. That was really, really nice. Um, and I want to announce, if you didn't already know, I, I'm i going to actually talk about it on the first day of Vlogmas, but you guys can start sending whenever. Um, I am doing the Christmas card exchange again this year. So if you send me a Christmas card to my P.O. box, I will send you a Christmas card right back. It's super fun. We did it last year. I think we got like 43 cards. It was amazing. Oh, that was so much fun. I loved doing the Christmas card exchange with you guys. Um, so if you do want to do that, my P.O. box info is always in the description box, but I'll just tell you it is Ohio Valley Couponer. P.O. Box 8294, Zanesville, Ohio 43702. And I will check my P.O. Box out once a week. And during Vlogmas, which, oh my gosh, Vlogmas starts next week. <laughs> it starts Thursday, which is when I'm going to vlog every day in December. Um, so Vlogmas is about to begin. And so I'm going to come down once a week and get the cards and we'll open them up that day. And it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. I can't wait for Vlogmas. It's going to be great. Um, so anyways, that is starting up here soon. But anyway, guys, thank you, Tanya, for the nice card and the coupons. Um, now I'm going to head to Walmart. I'm chugging my phone in because it's on a deaf store right now. It's getting close. I think it's like 38%. I guess that's not deaf store, but it dies pretty quick when you're filming. So I'm um, getting that plugged in. Going to head to Walmart now and see what's up there. Okay, so I'm at Walmart and literally it's like not any different than a normal day in here. Like the parking is just like chill not nothing i was expecting it to be a whole lot worse but anyways let's head on in there and see how it is okay so you guys saw my walkthrough on wednesday of everything so this is the stuff they apparently have left here at the front um quite a few things really i'm kind of amazed they really have a lot of the stuff left they got tons of their rubber maids left and the wax melts that are a dollar um, they got the trash cans still as well for 35 That's a really... I'm amazed. They must not have had a whole lot of action this morning because they sure have quite a lot left. All these pillows they still have, the $6 pillows. Sheesh, so pretty much everything. If you came out at 6 a.m. to get in Walmart, it's all still here. <laughs> pretty much. Sheesh. Still have the, like... Not a ton of these, but the like $20 stick vacuums, and they have a ton of these. The air fryer, oven, rotisserie, and dehydrator. They got a bunch of those still. Now this one shocks me. Look at all these laptops they have left. The $179 laptops. I cannot believe they still have all these. So that's a deal. It's a really good deal. But they still have some. They have pretty much every lightning cables for six that they pretty much gateway laptop i didn't see this the other day 149 bucks for that wow that's a good deal it's a really good deal they legit uh, this looks just like it did wednesday night like it looks like people didn't even buy anything i don't know if they put new stuff out or what but goodness they still have everything here it, it blows my mind i can't even believe it it's pretty amazing they really have everything still here so either they didn't sell that much or they did a really good job ordering stuff in which i guess is possible but yeah not a whole lot that they're out of but i didn't see any black friday stuff that i even wanted so i just ended up getting my mom a christmas gift i think this will be the last one for her it's this pioneer woman tea light warmer gift set she loves wax warmers and she loves tea lights so i think we're good to go that's not black friday or anything it's just some walmart thing they have so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. Now the next thing I have to do is wrap everything. Yeah, that will be a, a job. I've got a little bit of it done, but honestly, I really don't have 75% of it done. So I gotta get on that soon because time's running out here. But anyways, I think I'm done at Walmart. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave here and I don't know where else I'm gonna go next, but I'm gonna check out my mom's gift and get out. Okay, so Walmart honestly, was a fail to be quite real it was a fail um they did not have very much going on in things i'm interested in. i mean they did have stuff um but not really a whole lot of stuff for guys really or just things that i in general want or would give as a gift there was something i thought about getting somebody as a gift um, it was between that and something else that i found at jc penny and i went with the one at jc penny and i'm happy with my choice 
Um, so anyways, yeah, but I did get that one thing for my mom. I saw it the other day at Walmart and she was with me. And so I couldn't buy it. Um, and that was actually at a different Walmart location. So I was worried I wouldn't be able to find this thing, but thanks. Um, but I actually did find it today at this Walmart. So it all worked out good. Um, so I picked that one up for her. And yeah, so I think now, I mean, there's a bunch of places I, I really could go if I wanted to get crazy. Um, Staples, I don't think Staples really has anything on sale that I need right now. There's more just kind of like techie stuff, things like that. I'm good on all that. Um, I could go to Gabe's, but they're not going to have a Black Friday sale. Um, I could go to Big Lots. I don't really think they're going to have anything crazy. I mean, I looked at their ad and I really didn't see anything too crazy. Um, so I don't think I'm going to go there. I think actually I'm going to run in Hallmark. Um, I think because I wondered if they do anything today because they're still pretty pricey. So I might check out Hallmark and there actually was a Christmas ornament. I saw somebody on YouTube find, um, that I would actually like to have. So I'm going to check out there and then if I want to get crazy and do I feel like getting crazy? At what time is it? 3.47 p.m. I don't really think so. We'll see. We'll see. I might run to Kohl's. I might. I might run to Kohl's, see if they got anything going on. Um, but I do still have a little bit of money that I could spend. So, so maybe we'll do Kohl's. Let's plan on Hallmark and Kohl's. That's what we'll plan on. Okay, let's head to Hallmark. Okay, so done at Hallmark. I didn't film in there because the music's pretty loud and it's a small space. So don't want to, you know, yeah. But anyways... I got this. I saw somebody on YouTube share this earlier this year. It's a Little Tykes ornament in the shape of this little cozy coupe car from Little Tykes. I had this car as a kid, literally. I had this car and I remember driving around in this little car as a kid. And when I saw that they had an ornament in it, like, come on, that is just childhood nostalgia. So I picked it up. It wasn't on sale. They had stuff on sale. It just wasn't stuff I needed, like scarves and stuff like that. Didn't need those things. But um, I did want this. So it was $17.99, I actually had two different rewards. If you're not signed up for Hallmark email, get signed up because they send coupons constantly. So I actually had two different $2 rewards and rewards work on anything. Coupons exclude keepsake, I believe, but the rewards work on absolutely anything. So I actually got this for $13.99 plus tax. So I was happy with that. I mean, I know it's kind of expensive for one ornament, but it's a specialty thing and I was excited to get it. So I did that. All right, it's 4.04, I think we're gonna do Kohl's. I, th I think, I think it should be good. So let's go to Kohl's and then I think we'll call it a day after that. Okay, so Kohl's is a bit overwhelming, I'm not gonna lie, um, but they pretty much still have everything at Kohl's as well. Um, still in stock, it looks like, so that's nice. So I really don't have any like specific things in mind that I want at Kohl's. I mean, it's just kind of like, again, look around, see what they still have. And if there's anything I decide I need, then great that's what'll happen um so yeah just kind of what's up is looking around okay how many more hoodies does one guy need but i found another one i really like it's this one um and it is 19 something dollars but i have a 15 percent off coupon that i think is gonna work so that'll be good and it's really nice so I'm gonna pick this guy up okay i also decided to pick up some of these slipper socks for 9.99 i yeah i think these would be cool so and they're spongebob right so gonna pick those up as well i need to stop like i think i've hit my budget so i think it's time to pack it up this is hilarious and this is kind of expensive but i think this is gonna be my dad's last present i just yeah it's kind of hilarious it's a planter's nuts safe <laughs> and he eats peanuts all the time so it looks like a can of peanuts but you can put cash and coins in it and stuff i don't know i just thought that'd be a funny little gift so i'm gonna pick this up for him get out of cole's snake get out Coles really does have cool stuff like you can find just really unique things here but i don't come here much because it's expensive evidence of a good black friday a fight broke down fighting over some deal and someone dumped their coffee and ran it got that real in here <laughs> I totally keep doing this today where i go in the store like I, okay, so I go in the store on one side and I check out on the other side and then I have to walk outside to get to my car. Like walk all the way down to the other side of the parking lot where I parked because I'm crazy. <laughs> but um, Kohl's was actually pretty good. I'm glad I stopped in because I really, really love that hoodie. Um, and the peanut jar thing like that is, who, who, that's the thing. Who comes up with things like that? I love it, but I never would have come up with an idea like that to make a peanut can safe. Never would have dreamt 
up something like that. It's just, it's so cool. So, um, yeah. Okay, so I just don't want Black Friday to end, so I am gonna go to Big Lots because why not? Okay, so leaving Big Lots empty-handed. First empty-handed place of the day. They're expensive in there, like ridiculously expensive, and they really don't even have that many sales, and most of them are just like buy one, get one half off, so it's like, that's not how I roll. So, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one a Black Friday vlog of 2022. I hope you enjoyed. I had a blast today, just Black Friday shopping out there. It was so much fun just getting the deals and doing all that. Um, nothing like Black Friday. I've been waiting for it all year. I'm sad to see it end, but it is ended. So, yeah. Um, but that is all I got for this vlog. Starting next week, we're gonna have Vlogmas every day in December at 5 p.m. Eastern. There'll be day in the live vlogs, just follow me along through life. So if you've enjoyed this little three day vlog special for Thanksgiving, then you're gonna get to enjoy that throughout December and it's gonna be great. So guys, that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed and thank you so, so much for watching. Chasing snowflakes as they're falling down